Ever wondered how waste can be transformed into valuable farm feed and fertilizer? Meet Echo Dudu, the innovative Kenyan startup turning waste into wealth by revolutionizing agriculture with insects. Stalin, with her medical expertise, and Adam, with his bioengineering background, are the masterminds driving this innovative project. He saw the challenges that were involved in the manufacturing of feeds, uh, especially the availability and uh, the quality of protein that is used for the feeds. So we decided to work around that challenge. Around the time, there was a lot of conversation about sustainability. Um, so we started looking at insects. So we did a, a, quite a bit of research into insects. Uh, we did a number of insects first. We even worked with earthworms and others. So eventually we settled on the black soldier flies because it not only has uh, this uh, amazing uh, protein content in itself, but it also has this ferocious appetite during the larval stage, which makes it an ideal candidate for recycling organic waste, which is quite a big challenge in Kenya alone, not only Africa, you know. We had to really innovate all the way from uh, setting the trap from uh, to catch the insects from the wild, all the way into hatching them, into feeding them, into creating the recipes around it, and also in turn, now the end product. Uh, first, we now collect the organic waste from the farm in which we are based and other food processing manufacturing companies around us. So this waste is brought to us, it is sorted, and then whatever needs milling is milled so that it is made readily available for the insects and it's more palatable for them. So it is fed to the insects during the larval stage where the appetite is highest, and then they now convert it from organic waste and then it is bioconverted to become a fertilizer. So that is where our fertilizer comes from. So then the, the insect process now continues from the insect becoming larvae, now it grows to become pupae and then to adults. But before it goes through there, just at the pre pupae stage, the insects are now harvested again and then they are cleaned and dried to become the insect protein for the animal feeds. The reason why we chose this stage is because that is when it has accumulated the highest quantity of protein, fats, and other amino acids that it has gained from the waste that we have fed it on. In order to ensure the sustainability of our process, um, a certain percentage of the insects are harvested for the uh, end product, but some is now kept going to complete the life cycle, to continue on to pupae and adults to lay eggs in order to replenish the next cycle. Like any startup, Echo Dudu faced its share of challenges particularly in securing funding and scaling its operations. But in 2016, they received essential incubation and mentorship at Strathmore's iBiz Africa, which played a crucial role in refining their business model, expanding their operations, and connecting them with potential investors. At the time, um, you know, having a background in medicine and my co-founder having a background in engineering didn't really give us <laughs> any benefits. Uh, in terms of starting a business, so we had no idea how that was. So IBIS Africa Accelerator Program helped us to be able to identify the nitty-gritties that we really needed to. So in terms of identifying a unique selling point, uh, actually doing a lot of business development on our own, um, it helped us to now be able to position our company uh, in a place where we can now not only um, optimize our processes, but also now improve them for even much greater production capacity. I'd say the biggest challenge for us has been in identifying and creating the recipes, the necessary recipes, uh, to ensure the highest quality protein and fertilizer at the end of the cycle. Um, apart from that, we have also faced uh, initially uh, quite a challenge in getting the market to accept the products that we have produced. So in the beginning, we used to call it the ick factor because when you start telling people that this is uh, animal feed that is made from insects, everybody just takes a step back and they're like, ew, no, I don't want to deal with this. Um, but it took quite a while for us to teach them, to show them the benefits of these insects in turn uh, into their animals and in turn back to them. But I'm happy to report that right now, uh, we have been able to educate the farmers, the ones that we are working with. And apart from us doing the education, there's a lot of uh, campaigns going around sustainability and organic farming that has really done well for us in terms of market acceptance. I like to say it's very simple. You know, you have something, you're overthinking it, don't overthink it, you know, just do it. Uh, get out of your comfort zone, you know, just 
go into it and you know put all your heart and all your mind into it and i'm sure something will come out of it so